All right. So I am adding the bumps on this very last little mushroom. And because it's in the back, I didn't do a whole lot of highlighting. Just like the point of this angle brush. And you don't have to add a whole lot to that. So I'm going to go into my round brush, a little bit of the burnt umber, add some shadow underneath here. needs to be a little bit darker around there. So I picked up some brown with some of the red. Same thing. It's the same process for all of them. Um, I'm using a little bit of the burnt umber and I'm going to go around the little bumps to add some more dimension. dry down a little bit more. And the last thing I want to show you is how I use um, these Faber uh, Castile pens. If you can see that, they're a sepia tone pen. And this one is, um, I think it's an S. I don't know the size or the dimension. Um, but I like to use them to add a little bit more sharper detail. It's a little bit too wet. They won't they won't work that well over the wet paint, but so they add a little bit more dimension um, and detail to your paintings. And I just use them usually um, to go around the edges to sort of define the edges of the images, um, the painted images a little bit more. You can see this one has already been done. Um, And you can even take them um, and use them in the grass to sort of pull the grass out a little bit more and define the grass. These mushrooms are cute and simple. Um, I love to paint them and I hope you'll give them a try. Thanks for watching.